waking up, stupid boy. Do you know who you are? And I just woke up. You know? Mm. That easy. Shall we did for you if you also want to react then that be cool hashtag stay by plan shall we did for you hi guys welcome back to another special episode of stay by plan as you can see i'm in the gym i am at fitness one at one airport square it's such an amazing gym 24 hour service on the weekdays and i am here with the one and only Papi Kujo. Please, I prefer the legendary Papi Kujo. I'm here with the one and only Papi Kujo. The legendary Papi Kujo. Papi, what's up? Afi, I won the legendary Papi Kujo. The legendary Papi Kujo. What's up? What's good, Afi? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. It's good to see you. And I see that, I mean, off the bat, the appearance has changed. No longer having locks. There's, what's up with the new look? Um, <laughs> Charlie, I don't, I don't know. I got tired of the dreads. You know, I had it for 15 years, so I just got tired. I wanted to try something different. You know. Mm. But don't you feel like the dreads was like part of your, I don't know, like your persona or your character or something? So. Uh, not really. I think the dress was when I came out fresh and I was the shy Papi Kojo. But now I'm like a crazy Papi Kojo and the dress doesn't really fit it. So rather, well, this fits the, the non-crazy crazy one. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. And I also see you have um, a, a nose piercing now. And yeah, like I'm so sexy now, I feel. Gold in your teeth. Ten carats. Don't yeah. make it seem like any gold. It's ten carats. Okay. And you also started gymming, obviously, because yeah. we can see that you're much more tough and yeah. fit. The chest and arms, everything is coming, Afi. I'm, I'm, I'm very sexy, Afi. <clears throat> so, why all this change? Like, what's up? Like, was there some shift in your life where you're like, you know what? I want to new me, new season. Or it's just like one of those things. Um, yeah, I, w I wasn't happy. Um, with myself last year mm. yeah so i decided to like be a man and hit my chest and say huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, like hit my chest like huh? i got this you know yeah yeah so that's what happened i don't want to get into details but that's just what happened okay but it's a positive change right yeah yeah, yeah i believe so i mean what do you think afi don't you think i look sexier I think you now look healthier. Oh, come on the vibe is much I mean, come on. Positive. I eat good, more veggies. Okay. You know. Do you think you could be vegan like Zoom? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I really eat healthy. I don't know. I, I, I can tell. But yeah, okay. you know. All right. That's good to know. Okay. So I just want to talk about one thing before we go into music. Um, the Occupy Julo B House. You said you went there for girls. Uh, me, I don't really come here to protest. I come here to find girls, you know. Some fine, fine girls there inside, bro. You know, so I did try get like some one or two numbers. Then I go take, bro. Like, me, I can't protest. What's here that you can't people that care about me? Me, I can't protest for Ghana. You be the girls, bro. I don't go lie, you find girls there inside. So if I get like one, two wins, then I go take. How can you say something like that? What's wrong with going to protest for girls? Everything is wrong <laughs> with going to a protest for girls. Really? Yes. You don't appreciate women? I do, but that wasn't the time. You that see. was the time. They always, even the Bible says There's, that there's seasons Please, let's times. not start the Bible team today. Let's not even start the Bible team today. I will get up then go right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a time for everything. 
Yeah, and, and I feel like with women, it's always their time. You know, women, are, they've been oppressed for so long. So there's not really a time where you can say it's no, no woman's time. But you didn't really go there like, oh, I'm here to support women's health or women's Afi, rights. You when, I'm, I'm going Afi, there to see Afi, girls. Afi, when, I, when the lockdown happened and I was stuck in Italy, who protested for me? Which Ghanaian was on the road protesting for me? But you were not stuck in Italy because you always say Italy is your home. I was stuck there, Afi. No one protested for me. So don't expect me to protest for anybody. I went there for, for the women, for the Ghanaian women. And that's already even enough. I yeah. could have gone there for the white women, but I went there for the Ghanaian women. And how did that work out for you? Did you, did you meet anybody? And I even didn't. I wasted my time. I didn't even get any girl. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's just go into your other interests. I think now you've picked up the gym, um, aside music, what are the other things that you find interesting now? Um, I think the only thing I added to it is the gym, mm -hmm. you know? I'm still very much into music, you know, into movies. Um, I'd like to do more traveling next year. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, and I'm excited that my music, um, I mean, I've been recording, you mm -hmm. know, uh, I've been recording, so that's just it, you know. Right. Yeah. Oh, fun fact, Papi has been on Stay By Plan before when we started. I was the first person. He was the third person. The first person. <laughs> and that time, before me, it wasn't Stay By Plan, it was Stay On The Ground. Stop saying that. For, I feel, let's be real. Stop I like that. being Stop real, that. you know. And that time it wasn't a video podcast. And that remember, time Zoo's hair wasn't even that. It was, was up bro, to you. bro, bro, bro. We we start chill. We start chill. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned that you love cooking and you used to do pizza and all of that. I mentioned yeah. that I like what cocaine. Cooking. Ah, I thought you said cocaine. Is it ban? You uh, like to cook. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to cook. So you were saying that maybe you might even have like a pizza place yeah. in the future. What's that looking like now for us? Yeah, it's ninety percent ready. So you come and crash Papa's pizza and change to Papi's pizza. All, all kind of pizzas in a crowd. Watch out! <laughs> like really, watch out, bro. <laughs> like for real. Okay, so um, with your um, streams of income aside music, um, where else are you making money from? Um, just music, I feel. Just music. Just music. Do, do you think the, the music industry, especially the Ghanaian music industry, is lucrative? Like, but, there's money there and there's money to be But made. I feel not everybody's like me. Okay, explain. Like, not everybody can rap like me. If okay. you could rap like me, you you get the money I'm getting, you understand? <laughs> it's not easy to rap like me. We the rap, Wafi. We really the rap. And it comes with a lot of money. The kind of rapping that I, I, I rap, serious money. So where exactly does the money come from in the music industry? Is it from streams or from it's ads? From God. Or? It's from God, Afi. I you believe that. Oh, yeah, I believe yeah, in God. Yeah. yeah, I believe in God. I really do. God, God brings the money. Yeah. Okay, so um, we see that you've released a couple of different songs over the past few years, a couple of EPs here and there. And there's also been like periods where we haven't really seen or heard about Papi Kuchu, or mm -hmm. we don't know where Papi Kuchu is. So within those periods of not being in the limelight, what have you been up to? And what do you think you have done to, or what do you think you did that has prepared us for this EP that is currently out? I was also kind of like hiding, you know, because I, I got broken heart. So I was kind of like hiding. You know, when you, uh, you get broken heart, you want to be in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's what I've also been doing. Mm. And yeah. Uh, hey, what's making you smile like that? <laughs> the uh, doctor do good app. Yeah, yeah. I'm having a conversation with my doctor. You know how I've been feeling very light headed lately. Mm -hmm. He said it's low blood sugar, so that's a really Oh, that's scary. interesting. Yeah, that app so convenient you know like you get to skip all the hustle and bustle of going to the hospital and the traffic the traffic i mean i'm going to hospital and i feel so you can run in traffic it's uh, just yeah, cut yeah. all of that it's, it's really bad and yeah. so it's really cool to have efficient healthcare like right at your fingertips you 100%. know i just added my mom to my account really yeah so now i get to track her bookings and medication you know everything oh is wow right that's here. dope yeah yeah it's really cool i think i should consider that for my dad because i don't know these mm -hmm. adults when they grow up no shade but it's oh. like they are very stubborn it's bad it's bad it's honestly bad. i think this is an app that everybody should have I Agree. And it's available on the App Store mm -hmm. and the Play Store. Yep. So definitely everybody should download it. Yeah. 
and yeah, have quality healthcare. Yeah, yeah, and they also have a website so everybody can check that out for more information. That's yeah, true. yeah. So yeah, doctor, do good. The right care okay. where well, you need, need it most. Yeah, my doctor said I should eat well. <laughs> mm. Listen to him. But I thought like people who are. You are like famous and whatever, so you can get all the girls you want and all those things. So how did you fall into a breakup situation? Yeah, myself, I'm surprised on myself. <laughs> <laughs> myself, that I shocked myself. <laughs> wow, so yeah. then you must have really loved yeah, yeah, the yeah. person that you were with. Um, I just woke up and slapped myself. Get up, stupid boy. Do you know who you are? And I just woke up, you know, yeah. that easy. So do you still talk to this girl? Which girl? You say you broke had broken hearts. Bro, I I have broken hearts. How am I talking to somebody? I have broken hearts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So some of most of your music um in the recent years, we have um Fras, Green Means Go, and there's another one that has we something something. But basically, I think in the past few years, it's like you've been Influencing in Colan to she she she. Oh no, no really. Have I? I think you have. Oh no. So is 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 this why do you say that? Why? Because most of the songs you've released have like smoking references, like, like Fras and Green means Green means go, and then the other but, one. But Green means go is a nice song. I oh, feel. it's a you, nice You can song. just cover it with just. It's really oh, a. It's nice. It's actually nice. A nice song. You know. Like the melody is nice, the rap Green is great, it's a very nice song. So Come on. do you is it something that you you do? Do you actively smoke? And do you think Have you stopped cool? smoking, Afi? Why have you stopped? I'm growing, you know, I want to live longer. So I don't want to be in my fifties and I'll be coughing and I can't breathe, you know, and I like to also have sex and with the smoking it won't give me enough energy to have sex, you know. Sex before smoking, so yeah. Okay, so um <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Um <laughs> Yes, sex no uh, like bro. It's not that, it's not that. <laughs> but um why did you stop smoking aside do you do you think that people who smoke are like putting themselves at risk or because it's like it no, seems no, like no. the industry or the world, I mean like, um, weed is legal in different countries right now so i think people can do whatever they want to do mm. you know as for me personally i've been smoking for like for five years mm. you know and yeah i just feel like it was a time to put a stop to it mm. you know and do other stuff mm. you never know maybe because i've stopped that doesn't mean i'm not going to go higher and do like some other maybe type i'll of do cocaine that's why when you said cooking it sounded cocaine in my head. thank you please <laughs> <laughs> but did you have like um cold turkey when you were stopping was it difficult did it wasn't at all cold? like i'm surprised when people say like i don't maybe it's just me isn't like listen i'm the one smoking the weed it's not the weed smoking me mm. you understand so it, it was very easy like you just have to stop so there are some people that they, they weed smokes the weed them. Or there, there are some people that weed smokes them, like, like who? Sconti. Who is Sconti? My producer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the weed smokes him. So people like that. Sconti they, they can, can never stop. stop. Sconti can never stop. But for you, the, you, me, you were the one smoking the me, weed. It's me. I'm smoke. the one smoking the weed. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad. Okay. 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 All right. So ref reflecting on your career, what do you say are some of the major milestones that you're like, Charlie, hey? This one I really do. I'm like, yeah, this was a big thing in my career, music career. I think the projects that I've been releasing, mm -hmm. you know, growing up, I've always wanted to do this, you know, and sometimes it just hits me like, yo, I have albums, I have EPs, like, yo, you know? Yeah. I think that's, that's big. And these things are not, are going to be there forever, mm -hmm. you know? So I think that's big. I, the fact that I was, um, I'm able to like release albums, you know, it's dope. Okay. And how about like your fan base, looking at your fan base in Ghana, um, narrowing down to Takrade, and then also looking at your fan base in Italy, especially since like majority of your music is not even in Italian or English. 
how do you feel about like your fan base? Do they resonate with it regardless? Like when you compare your Italian fans to your Tadi fans, like what are the similarities and differences, if that makes sense? I think it's just who I am, my personality. You know, I think they fall in love with me and then the music comes along. Mm. Yeah, even not just Italy, even people from Accra, people mm. from Kumasi, most mm. of them don't understand what I'm saying, but they enjoy the music, you mm. know? So yeah, I think I have a pretty dope personality mm. and they love it. Okay, but have you ever released um, an Italian song? Like No, straight? I haven't, but sometimes I'll be putting some Italian bars. Yeah, but do you see yourself bringing out a full-on EP for my Italian fans? Oh, like, no, 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 why yeah. not? It'd be work, it'd be too much work. But you're fluent you don't need like that you don't need that <laughs> <laughs> you know you don't need <laughs> yeah okay and um back to just um your music and you just said for your milestones you've released a lot of eps a lot of songs mm-hmm. we know that your legendary hour and all those songs from the the past like they did very well green means go did well balance did well would you say that in order for a song to do well it's just about the vibe or distribution is important, like very important for a song to be very successful? Can I be honest? Yeah. I don't think it's really about doing well, you know? I'm, I'm a very selfish guy when it comes to my music, you know? I don't like to, when it comes to the music, I don't like to follow trends. Mm. I tried to follow trends with that been a song, because it was Afrobeat, and I was also trying to sing, and you know? But with my music, I feel like, music is who you are it's how you express yourself so to drop who i am and to do something else because that's what's trending it's just it doesn't sit well inside me Mm -hmm. you know so so yeah i just like to be myself Mm -hmm. you know and just express myself how i can so after you express yourself how you can do you actively put in place like when i say distribution are you actively putting money in said i know people have i know people when they release music they have to send a message in advance to apple music spotify let them know yeah, that yeah, this yeah. is I'm out with, you have to actively i'm do with that. i'm with africori it's a distribution company in, okay um south africa and they do all of that okay yeah all right and you think that's definitely important so if i have talent me like this i think i can sing and mm-hmm. i dance on fire song mm-hmm. like how me and zoo have our theme song that mm-hmm. song is fire mm-hmm. can it just become popular that, without distribution that song is funny it's not fire, it's funny. It's actually fire, I don't even know okay. yourself. <laughs> but like, f- for example, can it do well just by itself? Or that thing is not real? Uh, yeah, it can. You know, is it doing well? No, we haven't actively promoted it as a song. That's what I'm asking you. Because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think, yeah, if, if um, you set trends, I mean, you guys are young. You guys do challenges and stuff, TikTok. So, yeah. If you wanted to train, I, I believe you guys can do that. Mm. But for you, what do you think about like the current um, music situation where people are making sure they have this dance challenge for their song or dance something for? Do, are you doing anything like that for your EP so that it will blow more on TikTok? Um, do you think it's important? I think where I think where the game is right now. I mean, you have to adapt, you know, that's what it is now, Charlie. So, yes, yeah, it is important if you want um, a certain crowd, mm. you know, if you're chasing a certain audience, you, you know, it's, it's very, very important. But then again, I also truly believe that music is music, you know. Mm. If you look at my playlist, there are songs, bruh, like, these are not TikTok songs, you know, yeah. I just enjoy this the music so yeah it depends on what you're looking for in the audience you want i guess okay and then um i want to touch on the ghanaian music community if that makes sense you have been a part of the community 10 years yeah of the yeah 10 years do you think it is um a supportive community or not what have your experiences been in the community and if you could have it another way, would you wish you were in a different country? I believe it's very supportive. Mm-hmm. You know, it's stressful, but it's very... Ghanaians really try, mm-hmm. you know? Like, um, yeah, it's very supportive. You know, when it comes to, like, features and stuff, you know, yeah, they're there. Um, 
yeah I, I believe when it comes to that Ghanaians are very supportive not just even in music like if also like um the actors you know like um i believe whenever i call uh, kojong kansai he will pull up i believe kwekumenu will pull up you know i feel like they are really supportive right. yeah and then and when we flip the scripts obviously you have made waves and then obviously if papi says oh well, can you come on my song like it's very easy how about you on the other side what are you doing to help people for example in takarade underground musicians to come up if they say oh can you come and feature on my song and stuff are you open to it it's like, if the song is nice if the song is nice yeah if the song is nice um why not um i feel like um i always get n- new vibes when i go to takarade mm. you know i get these new vibes from them so i can just just throw them away you yeah. know um i've always tried to help um when i can mm. you know um there's this song on the ep called one summer part two mm-hmm. uh, the part one mm-hmm. had um like five takradi mcs mm-hmm. dope mcs like nemesis low so um and this one too the part two on the new tape um it has loli it has um, um cousin um it has um, um kojo viper um it has um uc and slim drums right, and so these are all drums. like like dope tardy mcs you know okay. interesting okay so your ep what was the inspiration behind it's kind of like why did you call it kind of um yeah um i believe in freedom of speech i believe in being able to say what you think and what goes through your head mm. you know i believe in not um keeping quiet or shutting your mouth because of what you think people will say or how they react to what you're mm-hmm. saying you know so yeah kind of is just freedom of speech say it and die yeah you know and i'm also like a big fan of hip life like reggie rockstone his first albums were like maka maka mena maka yeah maka so me to my own is kind of right yeah makes sense right yeah it makes sense yeah. it makes sense so for you you are someone who i think everybody would say really exercises his freedom of speech yeah yeah yeah, yeah. especially on twitter yeah and you really say your mind yeah, yeah, yeah. you have and to you just don't care no, so no, sometimes no. aren't you afraid that it can affect your i don't know your so what's the word like it can affect your your what your relationships your Pers- like how people perceive you like doesn't it bother if, you sometimes if if someone is not going to be my friend anymore because of what i said and that person wasn't really my friend come on mm. come on but you you stand with everything you say you don't think well, i say with balls sometimes you say certain things you know that you are just saying this no, to no, trigger no, no, somebody no, no, no. i say no. things with balls i feel people don't have balls right. you don't see the balls i'm okay thanks like uh, I have very big much. balls. Okay, like, very much. Thank I say, you. I say very things with my big balls. Okay, so your big EP, Takradi hairy balls. Your EP <laughs> cover is you in the center of, like, what do you call those people? Paparazzi. Like, and then if you look very deep inside, you can see that some of them, their cameras are like from Titi. Some of them are using modern cameras. There are also some people at the back that are not taking pictures. They are just watching. So what was the creative idea behind it? If I wanted to break it down, I would have my own personal way. Mm. But what, what do you think? Okay. <clears throat> Literature class. Okay, okay, okay. So for me, I, am, I see it like you are the center of attention. You have something that you are saying, as you said, Kanye, you are saying something and everybody is listening. The people who have maybe the old cameras are people who have been following you for the longest time and still are listening to you. Mm. And then the people with the new cameras are like people who are like okay who is this guy he's interesting i want to know mm. and then there are some people at the back where they don't have anything them just they watch them mm. they hate loki mm. pretty much either ways you got yeah, it I'm deep old. yeah you got are you it. sure i feel you, like it's more or less yeah like that oh wow yeah. something like that you yeah for real, for real you try you try <laughs> you try you really try yeah you really try but yeah that's that's and it had been like a year since i released music and every time people see me like papi when are you coming out with you know new music papi blah, blah blah so yeah more or less something like that mm. okay so what was it like working with someone like stone boy have you ever worked with stone boy before no this was my first time working with stone and how was it like very 
You know, um, recently, like, Stone is really gangsta. You know, pulling up on niggas. <laughs> Which niggas has he been pulling up? <laughs> <laughs> but um, he was very nice. He was a gentleman. Mm. He came to the studio himself. You know, um, he was there. Um, he was very nice, man. Shout out to Stone. He was very mm. nice. Mm. Shout out to him. That's actually someone I look forward to having on my podcast. Really? Yes. I'll talk to him. Please do. Please you know do. I got you. I'll Please talk do. to him. Please do. Okay. So as you're preparing for the EP, was there anything that stood out to you? Did you have any challenges um, when you were making the EP? Um, what, what was the organization like? Um, do you have a manager? Do you have a team? Like, how did you make this thing come out and be so beautiful? Um, yes, I did. Like I said, um, I wasn't really happy with myself last year. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was all part of it, you know, but um, recording the EP was, um, what do you call it? It was, it was like therapy. Mm. Yeah, so um, um, it was fun, but it was like medicine also, you know. Um, shout out to Sconti. Um, he always pulled up. He was always there. Mm. You know, we, um, whenever there was time to work, he was always there. And he also like really supported, you know, with certain decisions and stuff, mm. you know. So, yeah, um, it was, it, it was um, in the beginning it was like a bad time, but then it, it, later it became fun, mm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then how about support from family and friends? How's that been like for you? Towards the EP. You know, because of like I say my mind, I don't have like a lot of friends. You know, so, but family is always family. Yeah. Yeah, family will always be family. Family, they've always been there. Shout out to my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, um, yeah. I would also say friends, certain friends, you know, mm -hmm. certain artists, the one they put up, like, um, like Stone himself. Yeah. Shout out to Stone. Shout out to Darko. Mm -hmm. Shout out to, um, shout out to Asaka. Mm -hmm. Asaka is like, um, I love Asaka. And especially Reggie, mm -hmm. um, he always pulls up. So yeah, shout out to them. All right. Okay. So um, before we wrap up, I just want to know, do you think just by sitting by you today, I can tell that you are almost a little bit different from the puppy that I knew in the past. I mm. think there's in a positive way, there's like more change. like there's more, I don't know, the vibe is just different. Mm. Are there certain mistakes you made in the past that you have learned from and you could share with somebody who is trying to do music and looks up to you? Um, yeah, I, I would say um, if you're doing music and if this is what you really want to do, don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't, Why? don't. You lose one of them, either the music or one, so. So if you really love the music, then focus on the music. Mm. Yeah. So if you're a girl and... If you're a girl, then you can have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm actually okay. I'm chill. I've gotten everything I want to get from this interview. I just wanted to catch up with you understand guys this is the second interview we did the first one she was really hating i have to let you guys know <laughs> so we had to come and do it again she admitted that she was really hating so yeah the friends that she was talking about that don't show support that hate you know this is one of them but if you held me down when i was at my lowest and i've been able to rise up the ladder and I'm yeah and we pushed you on your, we pushed you on the ladder yeah, we are part of the people who pushed yeah, you on the, the ladder the day, if, and you get to the top and then you are doing a party at the top of the ladder and we that we push you, you know, invite me. Hey, we want Google break the ladder. No, but like, that, that means that like you. You really are really up, you know. You're showing your true colors today, you know. No, you've always told me. Never that. know. Maybe after this interview, I'll start ranting again on Twitter. But uh, you see, that's the problem that I think I have with you. You always want everything to go your way. So you did the artist day your chest off. Oh, but I've said these things to you before. No. Okay, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but aren't you happy about this? Don't you even like this one more? It's more. Bro, I've always been a fan of um, Stay By Plan. I've always been a fan of Stay By Plan. I, I think you people are fun, you know? 
Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Steve Ipsen. I think um, and, um, when I saw the episode with uh, Sack, I was like, hey, you guys are going. <laughs> Charlie. Uh, and it wasn't like you guys really got Sack to be like doing some things. TikTok like TikTok, TikTok things. <laughs> I was like, hey, what's going on, Charlie? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Steve Ipsen is fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, it's December. Like, what is the vibe for December? December is coming. Let me see. So, Dias- to see well, how do you pronounce diaspora? Diaspora. 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 Let's assume it. Diaspora. The diaspora shorties. Are you? Bo- 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 that's bo- the. Wait, guys, guys. That's the kebab. We are like, grilling diaspora. Like, di- like 10 diasporans. minutes ago, Papi just said, if you are. Afi, I'm on, on a music, break, okay? I'm on a break. I'm on a break. Don't follow I've girls. I've been going through it, Afi. Let me enjoy some, some, okay? Afi, I deserve it, okay? Uh, so now that you've worked out and the EP is out there. It's let out there. The you can do it. small. So, it's like so when you, you take to, medicine, you take small. So edit you don't, the you don't overdo it. So you have to edit the advice. That means that if you are doing music and you release a song. And you, you work hard and then you release it. Then you do you need small. Then you go back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but will you be at any shows? Are you doing I'm any I'm booked out. I'm booked out. So if I'm stay booked by plan, until 17th August of 2024. So if you stay by, by plan calls, you know, you know, you know you go fit. Uh, there's you know, that, there's that. Hey, what's that? Hey, you know, <laughs> this is, um, I, I'm sorry, but this is the only time you guys can we get can me. can get you again. You can get me again. I'm okay. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I love you guys, but I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. busy. I'm booked. Okay. You're, big, you're booked and busy. I'm booked and busy. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, it was a pleasure talking to yep. you. And we are excited about Kanewu, the new EP. Thank you. So, everybody that has watched this, make sure you check it out. Thank I you. think it's a different perspective, a different dimension of Papi that we've all been waiting to see. And, yeah, we wish you all the best. Thank you. I wish you guys to all the best. Yes. So. I know that when you guys... Um, really really get there like start interviewing oprah then since make oprah fool on on, on camera and since <laughs> you people will remember me of course always yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you so much thank you thank you guys for watching bye this episode of stay by plan was hosted by afi and zoo production by afi tena and nikita episode was edited and produced by zoo designed by senna photography and videos by ellis etonam and now graphics by eugene and the intro song is by lil kwao